maybe do a little bit of homework, a little bit of research on the animal that you want to photograph. Find out about its um, feeding times, any mating rituals, what time of day it likes to come out, habitat, all sorts of different things will help get the shot that you want. Shoot from low, get down and dirty. You want to be eye level with the animal that you want to photograph. Makes for a much nicer shot. You also want to focus on the eye. And get up early. Make the use of the sunrise, the golden hour. All the animals are coming out first thing in the morning. Great for wildlife photography. Same again the other end of the day. As the sun's going down, the evening light makes for fantastic cracking photographs. Backgrounds. Backgrounds, it's always worth trying to think about the background. It's not always easy with wildlife photography because, you know, you're not always in control where the animal's going to be. But if you can get sort of like 10 metres behind the background, it'll make for a nice clean background. What you want to try and avoid is, I mean, look at that, nice smooth. You imagine if there was a deer about, about there, that lovely colour background um yeah but so you want to make sure that where you are say you've got a picture of a deer you don't want a big stick sticking out the top of the deer's head so you might be able to just shuffle along a couple of paces just to the side and it'll just sort that all out for you okay look look at this backlight think about backlight why not try it you might like it and check the wind not your wind well actually check your wind actually i find what you want to do is I, I find that I don't I don't really freshen up when I go out for a wildlife photography session I don't put on cologne okay I tend to be more au naturel because I don't want the animals smelling me they will smell you a mile off okay they'll smell you before you before they see you so watching the wind means stay downwind okay don't want your scent blowing straight at your subject because they'll be off but most of all, make sure you, you respect the animals that you're photographing. Don't get too close, don't disturb them. Don't go too close to nesting sites. Just use your common sense. Um, the other thing is to make sure you enjoy yourself. Make sure it's fun, okay? It's all about being there, it's all about being in the moment. I, I compare it to sort of like fishing. I used to fish years ago and used to sit for hours and uh, not catch anything. It was just an excuse for, for being there. And I find that the same with wildlife photography. Sometimes you get the shot, sometimes you don't, but it's all about being there. Act one with nature.